A controversy brews at Hip Hollywood headquarters, Debbie Allen dishes on Mariah Carey, and Avatar star Laz Alonzo talks racism on the big screen. All that and more in this week's Hip Hollywood Weekly Wrap. Normally, we jump right into the rap, but this week, there's a controversy brewing here at Hip Hollywood headquarters, and it's all because of this. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground, looking like a fool with your pants on the ground, with the gold in your mouth, hat turned sideways, pants hit the ground, call yourself a cool cat, looking like a fool, walking down to General Larry Platts, aka the hip clip of the week, the latest buffoonery to hit the net courtesy of American Idol. Kevin Frazier, aka my boss, thinks General Larry Platts is a genius. Yes, stop getting caught up in the buffoonery and listen to the message. What he is saying is, black, white, or yellow, if you are wearing your pants off your behind, you are unemployable. Whether you work at McDonald's or McDonald's Douglas, you are not wearing your pants on the ground. What do you think? Log on to hiphollywood.com and cast your vote today. Please help settle this once and for all. Moving on to another attention-hungry songbird, Mariah Carey. Did you see her Golden Globes? Excuse me, did you see her at the Golden Globes? Well, Mariah sure is busy these days. She's currently working on a remix version of her latest album, Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel, and she's gearing up for a tour. And speaking of that tour, Hip Hollywood caught up with the choreographer of the shows, the amazing Debbie Allen, who told us what it's like working with the allegedly difficult me. Mariah's wonderful. She is one of the sweetest people. She's a real person, you know. I enjoy. She's very creative, and um, we have a good time together. I think I'm. I think we're good for each other. With the voice that she has, she is a diva. A diva, you know, in the operatic world, is someone who has a tremendous voice. So she is that. Glad we could clear that up. But what about this moment at the Palm Springs Film Festival? And please forgive me because I'm a little bit. Um... Yeah. Now, the real comedy here is that Mariah recently tweeted, Angel's Champagne Rose by MC coming soon. Hmm. Further confirmation that sometimes the truth can be better than fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Affordable and accessible broadband internet service for everyone is something that hits close to home for us here at Hip Hollywood. Because as you can see, we're an internet-based company. Well, it is also something that is very important to actor slash activist Hill Harper and the Alliance for Digital Equality. At their recent summit in Los Angeles, Hill talked about the efforts to close the digital divide in minority and low income communities. If traditionally underserved communities don't have access to information, technology, broadband, etc., you're going to see a divide widen between haves and have-nots. We're going to have an underclass, technologically speaking. And that's exactly what we don't want, because to participate in the, the economy, jobs, etc., you have to be literate in terms of technology. Now check this out. Only 35% of Americans who make below $20,000 a year have broadband service, while 85% of the people who make over $70,000 have broadband. Changing that is next up on the organization's agenda. They are slated to appear before Congress on February 17th to help create a broadband internet plan for low-income and minority families. You can find out more about the Alliance for Digital Equality at allianceforddigitalequality.org. It's fair to say that technology is changing actor Laz Alonzo's life. Laz stars in Avatar, the Golden Globe winner for Best Picture and the highest grossing film of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not in Kansas anymore. You are on Pandora. Last stopped by Hip Hollywood headquarters and we immediately asked him about the race controversy swirling around the film. I don't get the racist thing because, uh, first of all, you know, black people aren't blue, we're black. You know, and we have our own story. You know, and the avatars, they have their own story. You know, so I would not ever except, you know, a black person that I love compare themselves to a blue, per a blue alien. Back to Avatar. Looks like there will definitely be an Avatar 2. Director James Cameron recently told Entertainment Weekly, I've had a storyline in mind from the start. There are even scenes in Avatar that I kept in because they lead to the sequel. 
it just makes sense to think of it as a two or three film arc in terms of the business plan. So get ready for Avatar 2. Did you know that Laz is a graduate of Howard University, one of the historically black colleges and universities supported by the United Negro College Fund? I'm sure many of you, like me, grew up watching the UNCF telethon each and every year when Lou Rawls used to host it. Well, this year, the Evening of Stars will honor music legend Lionel Richie. Our Vanessa Barnett was on hand for the show and spoke with the Tuskegee grad. It's a completion of um, one half of the, of the equation, you know, which is, is how do you get here? Okay, I, I got here, you know. Now, now the important part now is to enjoy it a little bit here. And I think that's what's happening. Tonight is so interesting because my 15-year-old kid and my 11-year-old will now know what dad has done for a living. The 2010 An Evening of Stars airs on Sunday, January 24th at 10 p.m. Eastern on BET. Finally, we couldn't wrap up the week without updating you on what's going on in Haiti and the relief efforts for the people of the country. Olivia Wilde, star of the TV show House, was in Haiti just three weeks before the devastating earthquake working at a pediatric hospital which is supported by the charity Artists for Peace and Justice. Here's what's so great about this group. Unlike many other organizations, 100% of all donations goes directly to the people at the hospital. We take no overhead. That's almost unheard of for a nonprofit organization. I can say with pure confidence from firsthand knowledge that this is one of the most effective ways to offer critical and sustainable help to the people of Haiti. Artists for Peace and Justice was founded by Oscar award winning director Paul Haggis. For more information, go to artistsforpeaceandjustice.org. Olivia was one of the many stars of the Golden Globes that signed this Chrysler 300, which will later be auctioned off by the Hollywood Foreign Press. The proceeds will be donated to the people of Haiti. Every penny helps. That does it for us. See you next week, and you know the drill. Check us out at hiphollywood.com, follow us on Twitter, and make sure you check us out every afternoon for our Daily Dish live on Ustream. See you next week.